the rain is falling, the fans are soaked, but here's the bottom line. We've got football at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. First down, Mayfield. That's out to Chubb, complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. Pretty good start right off the bat there with throws one and two. He's not locking in on just one target early, is he? Spreading it around a little bit as this game gets started. Back-to-back -back first downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Mayfield. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Field with it once more. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Paris Campbell, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here, and it's good. You always say you're going to lose and then do that kind of shit. The kickoff team on the field now is I was trying to send this I, one away. I couldn't figure out how to, to copy my YouTube stream, so that's, that's what I... And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. Mm. Uh, probably not. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. First carry for the former Buckeye, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. You know me, though. You know what I'm going to do.
Dobbins running out of the gun. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being nope. about a length of the football short here on third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. I saw you coming and, and almost regretted that one. Devin Duvernay, the intended receiver. <laughs> Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. Yep. How about how they're yep. responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Now Jackson on first down. Ah. And he's taken down. This will be a brown sack. Jacob Phillips. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. That'll get a little bit back, giving five on the run. And they'll be left with a third and 13. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Oh, that is. Unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their hmm. shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Gets past one man. Okay. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Browns will take over first and ten. The Browns drive about to get started. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Mm -hmm. Got caught for the penalty. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. First carry for Nick Chubb. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, they're going to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. For Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it. I thought he was going right to jump there it. With him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown. That's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out and giving the ball back to their offense? 
We're going to call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. On the NFL scoreboard, an update from Foxborough. The Patriots, they're out to an early lead. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going and hoping to do better than they did in their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. They'll be brought down on the I do like having a good tight end. Gain of six. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. And they've taken care of that early. Jacob the running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. From the gun, Jackson. Oh, and he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And They're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we should Best take kicker in the lead. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. Uh, their line's pretty good, but not just in technically. But their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yep. And now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Browns drive about to get started. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general Ooh, okay. rule. And they're looking the defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And all the way in. Touchdown. What's up with that, Eric? Cleveland. Nick Chubb. I said, what's up with it? Touchdown on the year. And right. the Browns are able to strike quickly for six. <laughs> for the extra point. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in there. Yeah. One play, 75, 75 yards, yeah. end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. <coughs> At their own 25 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. The 38-yard line. Jackson fakes the give and keeps oh. it. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. After one, a 14-3 ball game. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. This is caught inside the 15. <laughs> and he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? <laughs> a nice attacking play. Right. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They'll run with Dobbins. In here. The Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Second and goal from the one. On 
option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. Short of the goal line. No His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Jackson from the shotgun. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His third touchdown now on the year. And the yep. Ravens draw a bit closer. Good thing. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. I like Hollywood. I never had a receiver like this guy. Ravens 10. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Imagine Hopkins is about the same, right? Yeah. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal for and take it. The Browns take over first and no. 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. On first and ten, Mayfield eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> he was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell. That'll bring up second down. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdown, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed um, it downfield, looking for another man. one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. Second down, Mayfield again. Looking for Campbell downfield. And that wow. will be incomplete. Wow. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessfully. Third down, Mayfield. Mm, Should have been. They're going to be incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that <clears> type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Oh. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Devin Duvernay, <laughs> the intended receiver, and it's third and short. I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of a game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they used a slot receiver to run deep downfield and tried to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves. He's fast. That right there, he's good fast. For a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. He's got a good change of direction. In the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us like where him. they rank. I'm third and one. He's, right? he's kind of small, though, so. Five, third and six, third and seven or more. Because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. 
The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, Jackson. Man open left side is Brown. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Jackson to throw. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And yeah, this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. He switched on him again, huh? He's Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And it's now 17 That's the bad thing about having him is I'm having success throwing deep to him, so I'm going to think that I'm good. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 yep. officially, so a net gain of one there. The Browns drive about to get started. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here like in all that the movement, second Eric. quarter. Because <laughs> I figured I was in the wrong defense since you were making all that movement. You shush. You're not working. Mayfield on first down. Oh. His throw incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They give the chub out of the gun. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. I did, but I didn't get over. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Tyus Bowser, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some <laughs> of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield and finding the tight end mm. Hooper. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. First and goal. Give him 32 on the play. Good. 
Working out of the gun, Mayfield. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. <laughs> An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. That was too easy. Complete. Paris Campbell with his second touchdown here in this first half. And once again, the Browns are back in front. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown of the final minute of the half to take the lead. <laughs> and I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Right. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory, just a little time to try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. Third down here. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is finding it in this case when it arrived it wasn't a surprise and he was able to bat it away from the gun on third down jackson and the browns pressure gets to him that time and he's gonna go down so i was looking for uh, my tight end who got held up in the block don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. Yeah. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long oh, way to go in this football it. game. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Right? <laughs> Let's take it inside his own 40. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Browns drive about to get started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just... Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Chandler Jones, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Second down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports What do you think Chandler Jones report? is worth coach. in trade value? All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Uh, I think he's 34. Forecast calling for more 89, the rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Yeah. Slay it, slay. Slay offer me a four and a six. Like, the get the Baltimore fuck out of here, dude. Offense at the line set to get going. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, you know? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, uh -huh. I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. <laughs> Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 
seven yards there and a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Oh, you son of a bitch. Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. That is so stupid. He's wide open. Right and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns defense has a touchdown. No. Nope. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he right. would like to have back. And it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone. And he got there in a hurry. And that one pushes the lead got up nine, to 11. He's got 95 plus any lead. Everything. He makes Ravens, that pass. 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. I was, and then I saw you drop your your uh, your slot corner back there with him. Like either the corner or the linebacker. I just saw you running. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So that vacated that whole area. He's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, every now and then we have to uh, let a cliche fly. Paul, right? In this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to I needed to get him five touches because he was not happy. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Take it nice easy, man. By the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it. Got a man and <laughs> caught inside the 10. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland Ugh. territory. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which. Dobbins oh, come fumbles. on. Man. And this is picked up by the Browns. See, he's and tiny. I need a big back. His guys will get the football back. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the eight yard line so the opening play in the drive goes backwards now they'll come up on second and 12. they run it again with chubb and some room to roam now and able to get it across the 20 before they get to him 15 yards on the play first down well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Mm. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And oh, thank God. Incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. <laughs> that allowed them to disrupt the play. From the gun, Mayfield. 
Now Mayfield lost the football. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates yeah. picked him up and jumped on it. <laughs> yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. And he'll take it on this side of midfield. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and possession will switch hands first and ten. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester. That's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing. Uh, I gotta get used to them, but they got some good players. I mean, they got a lot of X factors. Put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds. Linebackers are sick. And move on to the next series. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No game that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. No gain on the play. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. Quick slant to Brown. He wanted it. I saw you. To the 20 before he's dropped. <laughs> Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Brandon, and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll go again with Dobbins. They'll get forward for That's three the okey the 16 yard line. Again, the ball so what all that running? I got you thinking, what the, the hell is that? Go, because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. <clears throat> the art looked good, so I figured I'd try it. Jackson from the gun on no, no, down. no. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off inside yep. the five. Then he'll be brought down at his own 10 yard line. He meant to hit the halfback out of the backfield. And, many weeks from his linebacker position. and think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. <laughs> A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Now the second down throw on target. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Free yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is a that was, on the field. I totally let go. Because it had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Campbell making the catch. When I let go, he did that yeah, circle for some reason. But not before they work it across midfield. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Browns football, and they've got the lead here as we start quarter number four. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Mayfield on play action. 
Going deep this time for Miller. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second yeah. down. Brings up second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Now a second down oh, throw I thought you had that shit. end zone, but it's incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Yeah, that will yeah. be incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 31 yards on the punt there. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game. And they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So up through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Oh, and he's taken down. This will be a Brown Nobody sack. was open. Good coverage. Sack number four. Sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and ten. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Catch made here by Campbell. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Yep. Paris Campbell, his third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year. And the Browns add six to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is... Is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? The other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff position? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. <laughs> An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. To throw again. Jackson. Back to Brown. This time complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
A gain of 13, it's a first down. Operating from the gun. Jackson. Oh, come on. For the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 45. That means huge. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry. Things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. Following the interception, Mayfield. He'll get five. I wish he'd have stayed up if I was going to crush his ass. Now, how about that play? <laughs> he took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Play fake. Mayfield sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 13. And a terrific mm. return as he'll take it up past the 35. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to yeah. make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The interception was a good starting point, but still a huge hill to climb with his three-score deficit and time fading. Call it a gain of five, and that'll make this a second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the Damn. next time? Hopefully with a chance to win. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and ten at the 46-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, he's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here's Jackson on third and long. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. The big fella. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for a Browns TD. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. PAT up and good by Rosas. And they open the lead up now to 25. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear him. <laughs> and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Ronnie. 
Billy Harrison, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears, but right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Now Baker going to keep this himself. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Here's Mayfield. Over the middle, hauled in by Campbell. Mayfield, the reception good for seven. It's third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And it's complete. Cooper. And they work this I'm, about, I'm about to change uh, your name to luckiest Madden player here. That sets up a first and goal. Yeah. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two minute warning. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Mayfield with it once more. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. And again, it's Mayfield. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Touchdown, Cleveland. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown. <laughs> yeah, pass. yeah, yeah. Nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Mm -hmm. 49, Ravens 17. Set now to kick this one away. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could help goes. out, man. <laughs> Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. You, you, you know... You, you know I'm here for you, Eric. That's, the Raven you know. offense set at the line for this next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's that's oh, boy. Left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Another run here with Dobbins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. I can certainly tell my age, partner, because Dog. when I was a kid, Stop whining. running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great shit. is it? I thought you were going to pick that one, too. Who can run it inside, <laughs> run to the perimeter, and catch the football out of the backfield. To be able to get him in the second round, that's what I call a steal. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Three. 
Throwing again. Jackson. And he comes back with one complete. Mm -hmm. The Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. So signs you know. of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Jackson from the shotgun. Now a desperation throw deep yeah, downfield. And my goodness, Ooh, another interception. Picked off at the 16. And the return will stop right around the 25. CD, this defense. This is a team I got to get used to. They're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Tackle made there by is. Tyus Bowser. <laughs> Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Yeah. That's... I ran a couple read options, but you stuffed them. I think I ran twice, so I stopped. And then it was like two for negative four yards or something. All right. The the key quarterback adjustment. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Who's this? The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. <laughs> Same goddamn team, too. Today's final score, Brown. Like a Charles, yeah. it's one thing to Not win, it's another thing, thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feel like can I beat you with the this? Ball and things are working and clicking. Can I beat you with this? Can bottle this. Huh? Can, can I beat you with this? Yeah, as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Can Whatever beat you, you call run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Browns, they're into the win column for the third time this year as they get the victory here. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they'll fall to one and four with a loss. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. So for Charles Davis and our entire...
I'm gonna sit here whining the whole time. I gotta let my pork rise a little bit, do you do? So am I going to the store or what? 